Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good to listen to you now. Good okay. evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Okay. Let me see. Let us start. Uh, how are you doing tonight? <clears throat> I'm good, teacher. Pretty so good. That's what I wanted Thanks. to listen to. How about you? Just fine. Okay, and willing to, to start a new class. Great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let me see. I have Adriana. Hello, Adriana. David. Uh, Ileana. Uh, Miguel. Catherine. Jennifer, and still waiting, right? You are eight, I think you are 18 people. Okay, well, I, I wonder if you could see the, the link of the video regarding to the neighborhoods in the world. Do you see the video? Well, if you haven't done it yet, we are going to have some time to see it, right? Uh, let me see. Yesterday, uh, I told you about a Humboldt assignment, right? Uh, uh, actually, we didn't discuss about the, the, the pronunciation, the three different pronunciations of the, of the regular verse. Some of you provided some, some information, but, you know, uh, I, I wonder if you have it as clear as possible so that you don't have any problem with it. Well, that was that was a homework that, that I assigned the day before yesterday, but yesterday you had another a homework. What what was all about? What was the homework all about? Who remembers? The homework was about to um, to talk about um, about places in the neighborhood using the vocabulary um, that we saw yesterday and the past simple, simple past. With a simple past, right? And the expression there is, there are, right? There is, there are, and um, uh, the neighborhood and, you know, past experiences in the neighborhood. So we're trying to combine everything. Uh, we started the previous days with the, with the information we got yesterday. Is that right? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. What's all about your neighborhood, David? So let us start. Let us try to make some time so that everybody gather in the class. But we need to start by doing something. Okay, David. Okay. Okay. Um, in my neighborhood, there's a church, and when I was a kid, I remember um, we used to go. And with my family, and we prayed to God for many years. A school was so far from my home. I had to walk for an hour with my friends, and sometimes uh, we used to buy um, drinks, water, or sodas in the convenience store. And so the, the, the way to school was so short for us and we laughed and talking about funny things and things about the future. The school was between, between a library and a shopping center. And behind the school was a soccer field and we received um, physical education in that place. But for, for five years, uh, but then um, it was built a mold in that place and we didn't receive uh, physical education in the place anymore. That's all, teacher. Uh, remember that you need to include information uh, about, uh, I mean, about buildings like there is, there are. You did it, right? Uh, you said there, there, was, there is, um, a building behind, in front of. Okay, so that's what I want you to to continue doing. Okay, Jonathan, what's what's about your neighborhood? 
Thank you, David. Uh, hello, sorry, teacher. Uh, the, yesterday I came in in the class. Are you kidding? And, you, and not do my homework. Are you didn't do. Okay, start working yes. on that because I will ask you. Don't 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 forget about it. Okay, everybody will participate. I want everybody to participate. Catherine, what's all about your neighborhood? Good evening. Good evening. Um, I live in uh, the end of the passage of, of the main street. On the corner street is uh, Pupuseria, where almost every weekend we go to the dinner with the family. Um, network to go is a little store. Um, on the next block is the National Kindergarten. At the next door is from Kindergarten. We have a place where they make a fried cake and fried yuca. We have three houses. We are they sell frozen and juice that I almost always to go. It's small my street, my passage. Okay, Claudia, what about you? Could you please share information about your neighborhood? Good evening. Polerla. Um, Uh, uh, just for, for just for tonight, okay. But you know, is is from tonight on, it's not going to be allowed to read info, okay, Claudia. Okay, go ahead, Claudia. Go ahead. Okay. In my neighbor, there is a small school. It is far far from my house when I attend the class. I walk while 15 minutes. There is uh, also a small part in front of the Catholic church. Three blocks from the church are a meal. I use it to go every day at noon to green the corn for the tortillas. In the afternoon, I will go get up to play with my cousin my cousins of the bite turn uh, the neighbor string there is a bad stop behind the parts and there is a fruit shop where i'd like to go shopping shopping with my friend very much you put into practice what we studied yesterday Mayra, could you please share what's all about regarding to your neighborhood? Okay. Uh, good evening. Well, I live in San Salvador. In front of my house, uh, there is a mini supermarket. Sometimes I buy fruits and, and vegetables. And next to the there is a ice cream shop. I have about I have about uh, only ones. I'm really I knew the and really I knew to the neighborhood in hardly ever go out at all. It's all. Thank you very much. Okay, I will provide some info or some observations at the end. Uh, Miguel, could you could you please continue with the presentations? Okay. In my neighborhood, there is a soccer field next to the main street. In front of the field, there are two stores. Also, there are two churches. Um, one of them is near the entrance of my pet, my pet passage. Passage. I don't know how. It is. Okay. 
And uh, my house is next to the main street. Uh, when I was a kid, um, I remember I used to play soccer with my friends and brother on the street. And when we finished to play, uh, sometimes we, mm, we was going to buy uh, a soda and some snacks. Uh, that's it, teacher. Okay, you, you um, choose to go, right? Uh, pretty good, Miguel. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, remember about the platform of the RB is was and where, right? So I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, you were, and they were. Uh, Luisa, could you please continue? Good evening. Uh, good, good evening. evening. They listen to me? Yeah, we do listen to you clearly. My house is on the main avenue of Turin in Aguachapan, in front of the park. My children and I played in the park. Yes. Good, oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Ileana, it's your turn. Okay, uh, good evening. Uh, well, good evening. I live in Ciudad Real near Chalchuapa. Uh, I have lived here for around 20 years. And I remember that when I was a child, I used to play football and baseball with my friends in front of my house. And also I used to go with my sister to buy some snacks <laughs> for the afternoon. <laughs> and I live in Residencial Madrid, but in front of it, there is a plaza um, in which there are uh, many restaurants and drugstores and next to the plaza, there is a supermarket. Um, also, uh, on Main Street, there is a park. And in front of that park, there is a football field. And also near, no, in front of the park, there is a gym. Um, the neighbors here in this place, are like kind of shy but I have a good relationship with some of them <laughs> because there are there are many neighbor neighbors who who really like pets so sometimes we take care of them we feed them and we actually one of my neighbors uh, adopted a dog so we try to help each other about that <laughs> and that would be all <laughs> Let me see, we have uh, Jancy. Jancy, it's, it's your turn. Jancy. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Do you mm, need favor okay. to, oh, now that's better, right? Okay, okay. Uh, my neighborhood is great because he's small, are friendly, are welcome, welcoming a new resident. Uh, it has one park uh, near a school and from my house have a bakery and a big store. Behind the park are a police station. Uh, in my neighbor, uh, neighborhood is very safe. Uh, Main Street have a bus station and more store, restaurant, and only that. Chris is used for talking about singular nouns that are is used to talk about plural nouns. Pretty good, Jancy. 
you did a great job. Uh, Jennifer, could you please share the information you got? Okay. Uh, in my neighborhood, uh, there are children. I'm sorry, could and... you please could you please activate your camera or if you don't es have any, any problem? Yes, es que se me cayó el teléfono y no me funciona. Oh, okay, so go ahead. Yeah, okay. Um, in my neighborhood, there are children uh, who play the ball in the afternoon. Mm, they rode bicycles and my uh, children too. Here, there are swimming pools to go on vacation. There are two parks and also many pupuserias. My house is across from of a viewpoint and it is very nice. That's all. See who's missing? Uh, Nerling is missing, right? Nerling, it's your turn. And also Francisco, I haven't heard Francisco. Hello. Hello. Nerling, are you there? Hello, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Nerling. Hello? Okay, go ahead with your presentation about neighborhood. Um... Bueno, las disculpe el caso, de, perdone que hable español. Eh, solo me he conectado al oyente porque ahorita voy saliendo del trabajo. Ah, oh, okay. para disculpar. Okay, nearly. Okay, so try to be ready because you know the activity is about talking. Uh, talking. I mean, it's it's about talking. Um, it's a speech about your your neighborhood. Okay, so you need to to speak about what's your neighborhood all about. That's that's the activity, okay? Francisco, hello, Francisco. Did you get some info? Hello. Okay. Um, and my neighborhood is one a safe place. I think it's a one a safe place because would you gonna you wanna come here? You need a, a report in the in the goal for the you you can come. Uh, when you uh, come here, you need, you need presentation, your ID, the, the security takes you on a picture for, for, for you, you know, for you know. Okay, um, here living a approximately 1700 family. And there are, there are, there are here uh, people jump, people, all people, there are the old the old peoples because I very very uh, uh, grande. I remember uh, the very uh, the very place. Uh, un lugar muy grande. No recuerdo cómo se dice. Un lugar muy grande. We had a directive and one of reglaments for the living people here. I have a um, lot of neighbors. Neighbors, vecinos, neighbors. Uh, I have, uh, I, I wanna, I, I wanna have a good, uh, good relationship with, with the old people. Um, I like here. I like living here. Only. That we are still. Um... Talking about the, the, the structure, uh, there is, there are, right? So let us try to, to learn it. Let us try to put, in, to put it to practice. Hey, uh, welcome, I, th uh, I think, and uh, welcome to people who, who have just uh, entered into the class. And let me see, I wonder if there are pe still people who haven't participated. Otherwise, well, we're, uh, you will be given the time later okay okay people well okay let, let us go over the activities for tonight ah 
Something that I want you to be clear, and, and, and I will uh, try to remember you every single time we gather, is that you need to complete the activities in the platform, okay? Now, how important is it for us and for you to complete the activities? Important, not important, or very important? It's very important, teacher, because in my, in my case, uh, I completed the, all the last week, but uh, I read a review tonight. Um, uh, me parecía que no estaba completo todo. Tuve que volverle a dar sumir nuevamente. Uh, no sé all qué right. Problema de la plataforma, supongo. Yeah, it may be, or it may be also about internet uh, problems. Sometimes it, it, it happens. But fortunately, you did it. Okay, so it, it is quite important, okay? that you finish everything in the platform. Uh, you know, for this week, you have uh, the midterm activity. We're going to discuss some of the exercises over here or most of the exercises over here. So we have an overall uh, review about the topics that we have been studying so far. But, uh, you know, if you, you have to do it by your own first. Well, tonight we will continue talking about neighborhoods, okay? And who helps me to read the objective? In this session, uh-huh. In this session, participants will follow a conversation about the neighborhoods, taking into account questions like how many, how much with quantifiers. How many, how much with quantifier? What is it about? We're going to... See it in a minute, okay? Uh, these topics, you know, they are not that complicated, but um, we have to put them into practice. Uh, how do you like your new apartment? Okay, I want somebody to help me to read. I, I need a, a, a lady and a, and a gentleman. David, thank you. David, then? I need a, a, a lady. And Jennifer, pretty good, Jennifer and David. David, just start. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot of in fact there an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I call you back later. Wow, pretty good. Pretty good. Now we're gonna listen to it and we're going to see what's the video all about. We're going to have, uh, we're going to identify a couple of uh, phrases over here, then we will move on with uh, another activity, okay? Uh, give me one second. Give me one second. I think you don't listen to it, right? No, teacher. I committed the same mistake as I did yesterday. But don't worry, I will solve it. Now, let me know if you are able to listen to it. No, no teacher, I cannot no, listen. No. Give me, ah, okay. How they ask questions and how they answer. I am sorry. Remember, count nouns and non -count. I'm sorry, I will. I did a double mistake tonight. Okay, here we go. Participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, 
But I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Uh, houses seems to be the, that neighborhood. I think it's not a, a, a safe place as the ladies mentioned, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Now. Uh, this time we'll study how many. Give me how, one second because I need to listen them. to two people Remember? more. Remember. Okay. Now that you heard, now that you hear um, the audio, I need two people more to um, to read the, the 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 conversation. Okay, Miguel. Very good. Now a lady, let me see. Okay, Miguel and Mayra, right? Okay. okay. You can start now. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there mu much noise? Oh no, there is eating any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's very safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I call you back later. Okay, that was quite good. Okay, let me see. I, I, I will I will check the how many and how much structure. Uh, where, where can I see them? Can you mention some? There is, I mean, with much or many? There isn't any. There isn't any. There isn't any, all right. But Maybe remember, we, we are, we're going much? to study. Yeah, we're going to study about how many and how much. For example, over here, we have the structure with much, right? With much. How many restaurants? How, how many? many? All right. We have how many? A lot of. Not really. Remember, yeah. we are looking for how much or how many? I think there's there, the only one. Many. There aren't many. Many parking. Ah, we have many over here, right? There aren't many. Okay. There aren't many. That's what is we're going to. Is there much crime? Is there much, much crime? crime also, right? Mm -hmm. Much crime. So this is I like the words that we are going to study in, in a minute, right? I want you to notice about the pronunciation of this word because I heard you said fin. No, it is not fin. It is find. I usually find a place. And the other one I heard is about how long? No, it is hold on. Right? It's all right. Okay, but you did it. You did a great, a great job. You know what? You can you can practice it as many times as you wish. That's what I really like about this this platform. Okay, that you that you have everything uh, there. Okay, now that we identify uh, some of the the structures that we are studying tonight, let's go over the the activities we have here. And then we're going to see a video. You will see, we're going to see another video. Well, now that we, that we learned about it or that we uh, noticed about how much, how many, we're going to go over the next part. That is about uh, looking at the quantifier to ask questions and give out answers. Okay, remember, this is our topic, right? This is our topic. How much and how many with quantifier? What are the quantifiers? Well, 
uh, we have some over here, right? We have quantifiers to count countable nouns, and we have quantifiers to measure uh, non-countable nouns. So like a lot, a few, many, any, or none. A lot, little, much, any, or none. But let us listen to, to the person, let us listen to the explanation over here. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Popular city is all well and good, but to get the most out of it, you need to... Okay. Okay. Now, so Aren't now any. that you saw... No. That you saw this information about quantifiers, okay, and you know that... There are some expressions with countable uh, nouns and there are some other with non-countable nouns. Uh, you, you can see that many is used with countable nouns, right? Are uh, there many restaurants? And then you have the quantifiers, right? You have a lot that can be used with both countable and non-countable. That's what you need to keep into mind, right? Because restaurants, you can count restaurants, yes or no? Yes. yes. You can count. Yes. Uh, can you count crime? No. No, no you no. can count criminals, right? But not crime. So, uh, notice that you can use a lot with both. Okay. Countable and non countable. Yes, there are is the difference over here, right? There are, because you are talking about a, a plural noun, a countable noun. But when you have a non-countable, then you, 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 you have to use it in, in, in a, as if you were talking about a singular form. Yes, there's a lot. There's, there is a lot, all right? There is the first difference that you need to keep in mind. Look at the second one. We have, yes, there are a few, a few, it's used with countable nouns. But what is the one that we use with non-countable? Little. A little, yeah. right? So you say, yes, there are a few, but with non-countable, you say, yes, there's a little, a little, okay? You don't say there's a few, no, -uh, because it's non-countable, okay? I want you to be clear about it. Uh, you can also say uh, many, no, there are in yes. many with countable nouns, but what is the opposite? Or what is the one that we use with, with non-countable? Much. Much, right? Much. There aren't, as because plural and, and it's a countable noun, but there isn't, there isn't much because it is a non-countable noun. You, you gotta be careful with it. You need to have it as clearly as possible. Look at the next one. Any can be used with both. Any. No, there aren't any. Aren't any. 
Uh, but with non-countable, no, there isn't any. And it's the same, but you know, the, 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 verb, the verb to be changes, right? And then the last one can be used with both also, right? No, there are none with, with, with countable nouns. And with non-countable, no, there is none. Now, the question over here is how many restaurants are there? How many restaurants are, are there? There are 10 or yeah. 12. How much mm -hmm. crime is there? Mm -hmm. There is a lot of street crime. Now, I wonder if you have any question over here. Because this is about, this is, a, this is a good info about quantifiers, how many and how much. And you have the comparisons over here. Countable with non-countable. No questions? Hello, people. Can you no. listen to me? No, for me. No questions, teacher. Okay, so let us practice a little bit. Then we're going to go over another activity. Don't worry, because you're going to produce English tonight. Okay, for sure. I'm just trying to introduce everything so that you can have the tools to, to uh, create something. Now, then we have the knowledge check as we usually have it okay, at the end of every single uh, video. And over here, the instructions, the instructions are the following. On the spaces provided for each uh, sentence, write a proper quantifier. Pay attention if it is a count now or a non-count now. That is all about. What about noise? Much. 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 Now tell me, it's countable or non-countable? No, 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 no. So we need to use much, much, much. What about restaurants? It's countable. Many, many. It's countable. And the expression that's missing is many, many. many. What about crime? Non countable. Non -countable. Much, and the expression much. that's missing much. Much. is much. What about number four? It's not countable. Not countable. Not countable. Much. And the expression much. that's missing is much. 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 What about this one? Countable. countable. It is countable. Many. And the expression many, that's many. missing is many. many. Okay, now can you read the, the whole expression, please? There is, there is much, much noise. noise. There is much noise. Number two. There, there are, are many restaurants. restaurants. Number three. There, there is, is there much, much, much noise. Time. Number four. There is, there is much traffic. traffic. Number five. There, there are, are many apartments. Okay, very good. Now let me see. We're going to check it at the end. Second part says, for this exercise, let's choose between a few, a little. Now, what do we have here? Tell me if it is countable, non-countable, and the expression that's missing. Non-countable. Non-countable. A little. A little. A little. A little. A little. All right. Number two. Countable. 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 A, a few. few. A few. It's few. About, the expression few. that's missing is a few. Number three. Countable. 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 A few. A few. A, 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 actually, it's about this word, right? Yeah. So it's countable, and the expression that's missing is a few. A few. A few. Number four. It's not countable. No, 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 a little. A little. A little. All right, number five. Countable. Yeah, countable. So if it likes, countable. A few. Countable. Expression that's a missing few. is a few. Okay, now third part. Complete the part by using Using any or adding any, okay. keeping mind countable and non countable nouns. Okay, and over here we have taxes. Countable. What is the expression that's missing are there? Are are any. Any. Adding any. Aren't any. 
any. There are any taxes. Number two, traffic. There isn't any. Isn't any. Isn't any. Traffic. Isn't any. Any traffic. Public transportation. Comfortable. Aren't any. We're going to see if it, if it is correct or not. Aren't any. Transportation, okay? Transportation. Keep it in mind because we're going to see it later. Number four. Contable. 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 Aren't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. Number five. Prime. Non-contable. Non 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 isn't any. Isn't any. Isn't very good. Isn't any. Okay, we're going to check the answers, okay? And we're going to compare. We're gonna see if we have if we have if we have some mistakes or if everything's all right. Now you see. There's much noise. There are many restaurants. There is much crime. There is much traffic. There are many apartment buildings. There is a little pollution. There are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools. There is a little traffic. There are a few traffic lights in the third part. There aren't any taxis, good. There isn't any traffic, good. There aren't any public transportation. What's the problem going here? You think I need Ah, so something that we need to learn. <laughs> Remember that, that I was going to tell you something related to this. You can count like the buses, like the taxis, like the cars, but you cannot count transportation, people. Okay? It's non-countable. Non then we have there aren't any parking spaces. Good. There isn't any crime. And that's it. Pretty good. Now, time for you to create something. Well, we're going to see a video. Okay, I will stop sharing this part because uh, we're going to see the video that's in the in the WhatsApp group. Everybody go to the WhatsApp group. We're going to spend eight minutes in, in seeing the video about the coolest uh, neighborhoods in the world. What are we going to do so? I will let you know at the end of this. Vamos a tener ocho minutos para ver los videos, el video que he compartido en WhatsApp. No lo comparto por ese medio por eh, razón de que en YouTube no pueden, este, eh, no nos van a permitir subir un video con contenido copyright. De, de, de copyright. Ok, so veámoslo por favor, ocho minutos a partir de este momento.
Sí, acá sí. Okay, I think you already finished with it, right? Hey, listen, meanwhile I check the list of things, so I will let you know what's coming for tomorrow. Mientras paso la lista, eh, le voy diciendo qué es lo que se viene para el día de mañana. Con ese video, ustedes van a elegir uno de los, de los neighborhoods, de los vecindarios que ustedes ven ahí, y no, no, van, a, no van a describir. ¿De qué se trata ese o de qué o cómo es ese vecindario? Ok, si ustedes gustan decirnos la información que está en el video, perfecto. Ok, solo se la aprende. Pero si ustedes quieren eh, incluirle otra información, pues entonces buscan más info y se la incluyen. Eso es para el día de mañana. Si quieren eh, quitar información, también lo pueden hacer y pues... Eh, decirnos acerca de la información que ustedes decidan, ¿ok? No necesariamente tienen que hacer todo lo del video, no. Solo van a elegir una parte del video. Ok. Ok, right. Adriana Gretel. Here. Andrea Esmeralda. Andrea Esmeralda. Eh, Claudia Jocelyn. 
Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present. Gabriela Guadalupe. Eh, Glendy Elisette. Present. Eh, Ileana. I'm here. Yeah. Irving. Hiroki. Yes. I didn't see Hiroki. I'm here, teacher. Hey, Hiroki, you are there. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Raquel. Happy to I'm listen to you. Uh, you see, Hiroki, Jennifer, Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Uh, Josue Miguel. Here. Carla Tatiana. Carla Tatiana, is Carla Tatiana here? Catherine Hasmin. Present. Uh, Luisa Ariana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Present. Nerling. Present teacher. <clears throat> and Jancy. Okay, so it's been a pleasure. And I wonder if you, let me see, just to, check, to recheck. Andrea Esmeralda, si me equivocado en algo, díganmelo, por favor. Porque acá he colocado algunos que no, que no están presentes y algunas veces me equivoco. Andrea Esmeralda, Gabriela Guadalupe, Carla Tatiana, and that's it, right? Bueno, chicos, este, seguimos aprendiendo, seguimos practicando. Eh, me encanta que ese grupo siempre que digo, ok, menciono a alguien, pues esa, esa persona ya está lista con, con su presentación, con aportar algo a la clase. Eso es fantástico. Ok, aunque nos cuesta, yo se lo dije desde el inicio, si creemos que no lo vamos a decir muy bien, que quizás no... No hace falta algo, ok, eso, eso es parte del proceso, ok, equivocarnos es parte del proceso, pero debemos meternos a la piscina para empezar a aprender a nadar, eso es lo que yo estoy buscando, ok, que ustedes produzcan algo en inglés. Eh, no sé si tienen preguntas acerca de la actividad de mañana, respecto a los, a los neighborhoods que vimos ahora. Si ustedes se fijan en, en, en esos, siempre que vean un video en YouTube, en donde pues puedan eh, colocar el, el, los titles en inglés, háganlo. Pero pónganlos en inglés, de tal modo que ustedes vayan escuchando y vayan leyendo al mismo tiempo. Y como pueden ponerle pausa y, y estudiar que cierta frase o cierto vocabulario, háganlo también. Así van a ir aprendiendo más. Van a ir aprendiendo más pronunciación, más frases, más vocabulario, etcétera. No sé si hay preguntas respecto a la actividad de mañana. No questions for me. No questions at all. Eh, les hago el recordatorio que es necesario que estén en las clases los 60 minutos completos, ¿ok? Que asistan eh, continuamente porque se, nos, se les pide que un 80% de su asistencia y por supuesto queremos que hagan las actividades en la plataforma. Todas esas cosas son sumamente importantes, ¿ok? De esa manera nosotros podemos darnos cuenta que ustedes están conectados con el programa de inglés, que están conectados con las actividades y que, por supuesto, están conectados con el idioma, que es lo que realmente eh, eh, queremos que ustedes aprendan y que aprendan de manera eh, lo mejor posible y, y que avancen lo más rápido que se pueda. Ok, si no hay preguntas, si no hay comentarios, díganme. Este, para la tarea de mañana, solo es, vamos a hablar de un lugar o de una parte del video. Eh, eligen un lugar de los neighborhoods que fueron presentados en el video. Y yo, pues tienen dos opciones. Buscan información aparte de ese lugar o eligen la información que ya está en el video. ¿Verdad? Para aquellos que trabajan, pues que no les queda realmente tiempo, pues yo les recomiendo que mejor se vayan con lo que ya está en el video, porque ya está hecho. Entonces, lo único que van a hacer es aprenderse la información. ¿Verdad? Pero si usted, pues tiene quizás ahí una suorita o algo en, en el break time eh, de, de su trabajo, pues puede tomar unos minutos para buscar más información. Eso depende de cada quien. 
Eh, traten de hacer, traten de poner por lo menos una imagen del de lugar en una presentación PowerPoint, pero no le vayan a incluir letra, ¿ok? Traten de, de que su presentación sea producida y no leída, ¿ok? No, no es bueno que pues leamos la información. Ok, así que los veo mañana. Esta semana vamos hasta el día viernes. Recuerden. See you soon. God bless you. Good night. See you soon. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, Hiroki. Hey, it's been a pleasure to see you here again. Yeah. Um, es que ayer no pude conectarme, pero porque tuve, tuve un pequeño inconveniente, pero ya, ya estoy de vuelta. That's fantastic. Ya, ya para ponerme al día. Ok, welcome back, Hiroki. Gracias. Pase feliz noche, T-shirt. Ok, good night. Andrea. No sé si me escucha. Yeah, I can listen to you Perdón, clearly. es que tenía problemas técnicos y no pude escuchar cuando pasó la asistencia. Oh, gracias no por mencionarlo, cómo no, permítame. Lo voy, Esmeralda, Andrea Esmeralda. Sí. Uy, ya había cerrado, permítame, no se ve. Andrea Esmeralda. Andrea Esmeralda, give me one second. Ok, Andrea Esmeralda, ya corregí acá. Muchísimas gracias, okay. teacher. Ok, good gracias. night. Good night.